Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, besides unsubscribing people, YouTube often doesn't send out notifications, so you should check my main page to see what new videos I may have put out. On the evening of St. Patrick's Day at about 8.30 p.m. East Coast time, there was 62 reports of people seeing a fireball uh, crashing to the earth. Multiple images and videos were sent into AMS. And it turned out it was a Japanese communication equipment that weighed over 683 pounds that they jettisoned from the International Space Station. Yeah, look at that thing. It became obsolete in 2017, and to make room on the space station, they kicked it out at a <laughs> in 2020. So it's been floating around there in space for almost three years, and um, on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th, it entered our Earth's atmosphere and burned up. It was only used for about seven years before they decided to jettison it from the space station in 2020. Yeah, currently NASA does not uh, recycle or Roscosmos does not recycle its junk. It just shoots it out into space. Four astronauts can generate about 2,500 kilograms of waste during a year-long mission. Or that would be about 5,500 and plus pounds. You can't have all the individual objects floating around in space. So what they do is they put them in two different capsules, two different types of capsules that bring supplies to the space station and then uh, jettison it from the space station and um, let it burn up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Here is one of the... Uh, um, I don't know what you would call it, containers that they use to bring supplies to the space station. And then they put all their garbage in it and then shoot it out to space. Two companies have been awarded uh, through a competition for recycling. It's a compactor type of invention. So I think they're just going to, you know, kind of like your uh, <laughs> kitchen compactor. They're probably going to compact the garbage into uh, wafers and then still jettison it to uh, space and let it burn up for the meanwhile. This here is an image of the hatch that they use to uh, bring supplies in and to put their garbage out through. To give you an idea how large this container is, uh, there's an image of it. I don't know if the uh, defunct Japanese communication system uh, was jettisoned in there, but that's what they're saying the latest fireball was. Here we have an image of the uh, capsule um, leaving the space station. Yeah, it's got solar panels. I don't know why they would have solar panels. Um, they do have cameras on it. Uh, maybe so when it's docking and during its you know initial arrival time, the equipment works on there but so they can watch as it docks and as it jettisons. I believe these containers cost about $15 billion 
Yeah, they're considered disposable. Uh, yeah, containers. Here we got another image because there's two different types that they use. This one here is called Progress and this one is called Cygnus. So every few months they get new supplies, you know, water, food, uh, different experimental units, things like that. The only thing that they recycle is urine and that is recycled into water. Here's an image of one of the uh, containers being jettisoned out into space. Yeah, hard to believe it actually stayed up there for almost three years before it burned up. Yep, they fill it up with all their garbage. Uh, they call these pillows. The one company that is going to work on making the trash compactor is called Collins Aerospace. Um, it's going to burn up what it can, then jettison uh, the gases into space when it's safe. And they're out of Florida. The other company is called Sierra Nevada Corporation or SNC. And they are out of Colorado. Here is a tile makeup of the trash that they're going to uh, compress, um, heat and melt inside the compactor. They have an image here of the Sierra Nevada Corporation prototype. It has an air inflated bellows that create the compression, it says. I notice how, uh, you know, you got to put warning labels on everything uh, for dumb people. And here it says danger hot. These pillows or space footballs, as they call them, I guess they use a lot of duct tape. <laughs> and here they're worried about space junk and it's a uh, threat, you know, for the space station. And here we're putting out um, over 5,500 pounds um, for a crew of four a year. Here's another image. This comes from Aerospace America. It says, Astronaut Mike Folson demonstrates in a video how to pack a trash, how to pack trash before it's loaded into the cargo space docked with the ISS. Yeah, look at all the uh, pillows or space uh, footballs that are stored behind him. Here's another image from the European Space Agency, the cargo spacecraft carrying the trash from the ISS burns up over the Pacific Ocean. I don't know, maybe it was 9.30 p.m. local time, but here's some of the reports. And this is how often you can tell that it's space junk, maybe a satellite, in this case, <laughs> garbage. Nine distinct and slow-moving fireballs from the horizon and passed above three observers. Five large fireballs and four smaller ones mixed in. That was from uh, South Lake Tahoe. There evidently was a soft hissing sound. And the color was orange, yellow, and white. Another report from Modesto, California. Now, they said that the color was white. And it made a medium pitch rumble. It was brightening in pulses. Either new fragments or existing pieces coming into view, it says. Mark sent in a video. It says that when it first appeared, it looked like the moon obscured by low clouds. In the beginning, there was a single bright point of white light. As it got closer, uh, it was apparent it had multiple pieces. And I don't know. Let's see. What else does it say here? Orange, yellow, light yellow, red, brown, and white. And they didn't hear no sound. Uh, the trail looked like a spotlight shining through the fog. There was this white color to the trail. Jason sent in the photograph. No, thank you. It was a sight. I won't soon forget space junk. There it is. When I was in high school, I used to read books by Ray Bradbury. And there was this one about some astronauts. And uh, yeah, they had a space accident and ended up plunging to Earth. And at the end of the uh, story, a child looking up with his mother 
uh, saw this flaming object, which happened to be an astronaut, and said, Look, Mommy, a shooting star. And the mother said, Make a wish. Another report from Cole says it was neat. Let's see. Oh, I guess that's it right there. And it's sideways. Uh, Santa Rosa, California. What else? Orange and yellow. That's about it. Sarah sent in a video. It says about 10 pieces grouped together. And you can see some larger ones there. Emma sent in a video. It says seen by approximately 10 people while camping. And Duncan Mills, California. What else? Orange, yellow, and white. No sound. And there's nine photos. Let's see. Let's check out this one right here. Yep, how many people seen this and made wishes on the falling garbage? This image is from Jason. And then we got a video. Let's see. There it is. Yeah. Kind of faint. Pretty cool though, huh? It lasted a long time. Yeah. So I imagine it was probably pretty cool to watch, even if it was space junk. Yeah, you know, something you don't get to witness every day. So what are your thoughts? Did you get to see it? Did you hear it? Uh, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.